Hey everybody, this is Brad Headland. We're going to do a quick demo here with VMware NSX for vSphere Security. I'm going to show some zero trust microsegmentation as well as virtualization centric grouping. This is a demo that goes along with a blog I wrote. Uh, you can read the full blog if you type in the URL that you see on the screen here. What we're going to do is start with this environment here on the left. We basically have two virtual machines that are on the same trust zone. Right? There's no inspection of any traffic between those two VMs. There's really no security or visibility controls because the firewall is really bolted on top and, and doesn't have any control over that environment. So we're going to take that existing environment. We're going to um, add in NSX. We're going to create a group, a security group. We're going to add the VMs to that group, and we're going to apply a policy to the group. And then the transparent distributed firewall within NSX is going to uh, take action, and we'll see how that looks. We even look at some of the logs. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to pull up my vSphere web client here. I'm already logged into the NSX portion. Let's actually, <clears throat> let's actually go and take a quick look at the VMs that we're going to use. So here is prod web1. And you can see right now I've just got it connected to a port group that I've called VLAN 91. Same thing with prod web2. That as well is connected to a port group that's called VLAN 91. <clears throat> They're basically on the same IP subnet. And I'll go ahead and pull up the console here of prod web1. And we can see that I have full SSH capabilities to prod web2. And I can go ahead and log in from what? Well, if I can type in the right password. There we go. All right, so there's no uh, security control. There's no, nothing blocking any kind of access from web1 to web2. All right, so what I'm going to do is go into vSphere, back to vSphere, go into NSX, Networking and Security. We're going to go to the Service Composer. I'm going to create a group. So I'm going to create that virtualization-centric group. I'll click here in the Service Composer. We'll give it a name. I'll call it Prod Web. <clears throat> and here's one of the cool things about the grouping in NSX is that membership is dynamic. So what I'm going to say here is that any VM with the name containing prod web is going to be a part of this group. And I'll just finish this out and finished here. So we can see right away the group has been created and the two VMs are already a member of that group just based on the, the, uh, the naming, uh, dynamic naming that I asked for. Okay, and we can see here that there are no security policies applied. There's no firewall policies applied. There's no traffic steering policies applied. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to go to uh, security policies. And I'm going to create a policy. I'll call it uh, prod web. And we will get to the firewall section here. I'm going to create a firewall rule and I'll call this web to web for traffic going from the web servers to the web servers. We want to block that traffic. Um, source is the policy group and we want the destination to be the policies group. So anything going from web, from prod web to prod web, we're going to block that. And because this is a stateful firewall, which is capable of logging, I'm also going to log that traffic. Okay? So we can see the policy. We'll finish that. All right, so there's my policy. Now, the only thing I need to do at this point is apply the policy. So I'm just going to right-click here on the policy, click Apply, and I'm going to select Prod Web. There we go, and the policy is applied. Okay, so what happened at that moment is the distributed firewall was programmed with the rules. If I go to the firewall now, we can actually see the firewall rules that were applied. There it is. Anything coming from prod web to prod web, any any traffic, block it, and should be able to see that the log is there. Yep, there we have logging. Okay, so now let's go back to the prod web VM. Oh, look at that! My uh, console is actually already timed out. The firewall rule already took effect. So. What I will do is go to prod web 2 just to demonstrate it, and I will try to SSH to prod web 1. 
and we're going to see, of course, that is now blocked by the stateful firewall. Okay, so real quickly, I'm going to go take a look at the logs. So I'm going to go to my log analysis tool for me. That's VMware Log Insight. So I'm going to pull that up, log in. I've created a custom dashboard, uh, the NSX distributed firewall. So I've got a few different dashboards to look at here. And I can already see the logs showing up um, of source IP address, destination IP address. We can see the source IP of Web 2 going to Web 1. Port 22, that's my SSH session, protocol TCP blocked. Why don't I just go ahead and click on that, go to Interactive Analytics, and there we can see the actual firewall logs uh, of, of the SSH session being blocked between those two web VMs on the same, on the same network. Okay, so that's it for the quick demo. You can see we've got uh, virtualization-centric grouping. We've got policies. We're going to apply to those. We've got transparent distributed firewall that uh, that enforces those policies, and it didn't really matter, uh, you know, what port group I, I put these VMs on. I kept them on the same port group they started with. I didn't have to make any changes at all to the network configuration. I just created some policies with NSX and pushed them out. Okay, so that concludes the demo. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.